This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. to look like an ape. <laughs> I got hold of the mirror and took a look at my face. I was. What they said was true. The hair was growing longer on my ears and my, my neck. And when I pulled back my lips, I saw my teeth sharper and whiter. My skin was growing more wrinkled. I couldn't pull back my lips over the two long fangs that had been my eye teeth. They'll put me in a cage, is what Blinky said. In a jail, maybe. I'll never see my friends again. That day I ran away. I found this old boarded up farmhouse half a mile from the zoo. I broke in and hid, trying to think what to do. I'll steal fruit and stuff from the farmhouses around and get along on that. I'm so lonesome. It's been weeks since I've seen my friend, big boy. I still have the key to his cage. Tonight, when it's dark... treating you bad. Well, you've got blood matted in your hair and welts. They've been beating you, big boy. Hey! Hey, who's in that cage? Who's in there with big boy? Blinky. Ah. Well, if it ain't the gorilla man. Why have you got that whip? I've got it to have a little fun with big boy. We always play like this. Put down that whip. Get away from the chain. You need solace treatment too, you big hairy ape. You drop that whip. Oh, oh, Smitty. Oh, Smitty. Smitty, your face. Why, you're wild as an animal. Yeah. 
Take a good look, Blinky. <laughs> I'm turning into a knife. Oh, you're crazy. Let me out of here. So yeah. you can tell and get me locked up, put in a cage. No, no. Oh, I won't tell nothing. I won't. Be the big no. boy, will you? No. Well, look at me. Go on, Blinky. Oh, oh, oh. I can crack oh. your bones oh. just like a I'll bet you look like a mini in that country club dance, like a mini. I'll bet you look. Well, thank you very much, sweetie, but hadn't you better look at the road? Hey, there's a park zoo we're passing, we're passing. So we are. Looks almost like a dense jungle looming up here in the dark. Well, it's a good reproduction. Yeah. Even the animal keepers' quarters are built like individual natives. Oh, what's that? Oh, sweetie, look out. Someone's crossing the road. Come on, Monty. Come on, right in front of the car. Come on, sweetie, quickly. Gee, Mr. Cranston. He's all over blood, all over. The man is dead. There's a bunch of keys in his belt and a tag. Yes. Yeah. There's Park Zoo. He's clutching something in one of his hands. It's hair. Yes. Yeah. Long strands of black hair. Come on, maybe some wild animal is loose. Wild animal? Maybe, but this feels more like human hair. <laughs> I just wanted to teach him to keep his mouth shut. Until men and the woman carried his body into the boss's hut. The cat driver came out again, but the others are talking inside. Yes, Mr. Cranston, he was one of my animal keepers, blinking. He ran right in front of our cab. He didn't seem to know what he was doing. Well, he, he was a mean, ugly guy, especially when he got drunk. You think one of the animals I might... wouldn't be surprised. He liked to tease them to a fury when he got drunk. And he's been in charge of big boy Smitty's pet. The ugliest acting gorilla I've ever seen. This, uh, Smitty, you say he ran away? Why? I never could make that out. I thought he was crazy about that gorilla. <laughs> he was a funny sort of guy. More like an ape himself than big boy was at times. How long has he been gone, Mr. Bobby? Oh, several weeks now. Don't suppose we'll see him again. I wouldn't be too sure, Mr. Prouty. This may be more than an accidental death. You, you think Smitty might... I don't know. I suppose this uh, Blinky had more friends than enemies on the ground. No friends, Mr. Cranston, just enemies. Even his wife hated him. He treated her as mean as he treated the animals. Well, Mr. Prouty, is his wife living here with him? Yes, her name is T. She's training for Black Beauty, the Black Panther pride of the zoo. Do you mind if Miss Lane and I stop and see her? Oh, not at all, Mr. Cranston. Oh, uh... Will you break the news? Yes, Mr. Prouty. Then I think I'd better try to locate this, uh, Smithy, your gorilla man. Smithy. The gorilla man. Me. That man and woman are going to try to find me. They'll find out my awful secret. I'll be locked in a cage. Follow and stop them now, even if I have to kill again. Well, this must be Teak's out here. Hmm. I wonder what she's like. Nursemaid and trainer for a wild black panther. I don't know. Yes? Who is it? What do you want? Well, I'm Lamont Cranston. Miss Lane and I have come from Mr. Prouty's office. May we see you inside a moment? Yes. Wait, please. I will light a lamp. Oh, Lamont. She almost purred. She's like a cat. Do you see those green eyes in the moonlight? Yes, and her long blue-black hair. Oh, the lamp's lighted. Here she comes back. Darling, she even walks like a cat. Come in, please. Oh, thank you. What was that? Oh, do not be frightened. That is only my panther black. Oh. That other door across the room leads to her cage. Oh. The, uh, the animal's scratching at the door. Yes. Black Beauty hates the sound of any voice but mine. <laughs> Down, Beauty. Down now. Yes, that is better. Yes, Mr. Cranston. Well, it's uh, rather shocking news, I'm afraid. About your husband. 
My husband, Blinky. Yes. He's dead. He found his body tonight. I am not surprised. He was drunk when he left here. One of the animals got him? Yes, how did you know? I always thought that would happen. Uh, would you like to go to him now? Bodies, Mr. Prouty's hut. If you think it's proper, I should. I will go. Uh, do you mind if we rest a moment? Miss Lane is dreadfully oh, tired. Oh, no, not here. Do, yes, do if you wish. <laughs> Darling, why did you insist on us staying here? I, I don't like it very much with that beast so close. Something I want to find, Martha. Did you close that door, Doc? No. When must have gone a shut? Shouldn't be much of a draft, only that one small window in the place. What did you find just now? You put something in your coat pocket, didn't you? Something very interesting, Margot. Some other strands of long blue black hair. Come on! The lamp went out. Someone threw a rock through that open window. Darling, there's someone out there. You can see a silhouette in the moonlight. Stand still, darling. Swinging over the window ledge. Then get us out of here. How did the panther get in the hut? The cage door was locked. Did you we saw enter through the window and cross the roof? Well, of course, the ape unlocked the door. Ape or man or whatever it is, it tried to kill us, Marco. Someone or something knows we're on the right track and wants us both out of the way. <laughs> Glad to be out of that panther cage. No more than you are, I'll be <laughs> Now, there's the cab, Margo. And Shrevey, in the front seat, patiently waiting. Uh, patiently sleeping. Hey, Shrevey, wake up. Uh, oh, hop in, hop in, sir. Cab's empty, it's empty. I, uh, oh, it's you, Mr. Cranston. Oh, Turn on your headlights, will you, Shrevey? There you are, Mr. Cranston. By the day, that's how bright. What are you doing, Lamont? The strands of black hair were found on Blinky's body tonight. So? Comparing them with these others. These belong to the beautiful beast that nearly did us in just now. Oh, to the match? No. No, it's not Black Beauty's hair Blinky was holding. Well, now what are you doing, darling? Where did you get that comb? I picked it up from Teague's dressing table before the lights went out. A few strands of her hair in it. Oh, Lamont, they do match, don't they? Exactly. In texture as well as color, Margo. Hop in the cab, darling. Wait for me here. Are you going back to Teague's hut again? Yes. Blinky's wife, Teague, is about to receive a visit from the shadow. Oh, poor beauty. My poor black beauty. Did they hurt you trying to put you back in the cage? Yes, yes, Teague understands. She knows what you say. Can you hear my voice? What? Can you hear me too, Teague? What is that? Am I mad? My beast speaks. Beauty, are you bewitched? You hear the voice of the shadow. Shadow? 
shadow. There, there is no one here. Where, where are you? But my cat will find you by still. Yes, find him. Kill him. You would kill me like you did your husband, Teague? I did not. It is a lie. Prove it quickly. Close the door to his cage. <laughs> he has smelled you out. He's coming towards your voice. Yes, but look, Teague. Here's a new animal act for you. The chair. It is rising in the air. <laughs> He's backing away. You frighten my black beauty. As the chair comes nearer, he backs away. Yes, now lock his cage. If you ever want control of him again, lock him away. Yes, yes, I locked the cage. <laughs> Is that how you killed your husband, Teague? Did you lock him in the cage with your beast? No. No, I did not. I did not kill him, I swear. Strands of your black hair were found clutched in his hand when his body was found. Yes. Yes. Yes, I know that is true. And you killed him? No. No, I did not. But I did see him die. And who killed him, Teague? Speak. You would save your own life? Yes. Yes, I speak. He killed him. The gorilla man. Smithy killed your husband tonight? Yes. Yes, he did. I followed my husband when he left his hut tonight. He was drunk, took a whip. I vowed this time he would not harm any beast. Where did he find the gorilla man? In the cage with his pet, big boy. My husband struck with the whip. Smithy took him in his big ape-like arms, crushing and clawing. Sent him screaming away. You stood by and watched? He saw me. Came running to me for help, broken and bleeding. He grabbed at me like a man drowning, begging for help. I ran. I saw him running the other way, half crazy with fear and pain. I'm glad he is dead. He deserves the fate he met. Why haven't you told me this before? I protect all animals first from the evil deeds of men. Smith, he's no animal, he's a man. More beast than man, I warn you. Where is this creature hiding now? I do not know. I will not tell you if I die. (laughs) He can't be far away. I promise you the shadow will find this half man, half ape. I didn't go through the door. With my long arms, I swung up through a shattered window easily. I swung on arms that looked like a gorilla's. The change is coming on me faster and faster, and I'm glad. I want only one thing. I want to be a gorilla. I'm sorry to keep you waiting so long, dear. That's okay by me. By me, it's okay. I was speaking to Miss Lane, Shreevy. Oh, sorry, Mr. Cranston. I was dozing. I guess I was dozing. That's all right, Shreevy. Where were you, Lamont? The manager's hut. I found the map of this area, and I've been checking property in the vicinity of the zoo. Oh? Chances are this Smithy, whatever he is, is hiding out near there somewhere. Well, shouldn't we inform the police? Can't very well go to them with a the story of a man turning into a gorilla, darling. No. Do you think you know where he might be hiding? Yes, there's an old abandoned farmhouse about half a mile from the zoo. Shreevy, let's start the motor. I'll tell you how to get there. My arms grow longer and more hairy. Maybe the change is complete. I look in the mirror. The face of a gorilla looks back at me. Leave the car by the main road, Shrevey. We'll sneak up on the house. Okay, Mr. Cranston. I'm with you. It's you I'm with, okay? Is that the house there through the trees, Lamont? Yes, Tom. It's a frightening-looking old place. Now take this gun, Shrevey, and this flashlight. Uh, you better wait in the car, darling. Alone out here? Not on your life. If you're going to meet this gorilla man, darling, I'm going to be with you. <laughs> Why so good, Mr. Cranston? You know, pretty good so far. Be careful of those wooden port steps, now. Don't fall through. Yeah. Whole place looks as though it might collapse. I hope not while we're inside. Not while we're inside, I hope. 
Moon's bright enough for a while. Don't use your flash until I tell you, Shrevey. Okay, okay. Now, you take the ground floor, Shrevey. Margo and I will go upstairs. Okay, Mr. Cranston. It's okay with me. I'll go down in small first. Clear down the end. I will. Shrevey! What's happened? You all right? Shrevey! Come on, look. Look up at the top of the stairs. Yes, I can see it standing there in the moonlight. They were right. That's not human. That's a huge gorilla. Yes, it is. Come on, it's starting down the stairs. Turn and run, Margo. I didn't count on this. Run to the car. But, 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 Hurry, run, Margo. All right, but... Come on, follow me. Margo. Margo, can you hear me? Get out of here. Yes, yes, no, I'll get help. Get out of this house. It's got me. Run, Margo. Uh, uh, oh, Margo. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. Uh, That's a gorilla. Uh, Coming. Coming after me. Shrevey plugged the gorilla man. He plugged him. Shrevey? We've got to get to Lamont Shrevey. The gorilla man attacked him. Come on, quick. You're in his house, Miss Lane? Yes, yes. Golly, if we only had a flashlight. You wait here, Miss Lane. You wait here. I'll go upstairs. I'll go. Well, hurry, will you, Shrevey? We must find Lamont. Then maybe I can... What are you doing here? What? Who are you? You killed my brother. Your brother? Big boy, my brother. My brother ape. You shot him outside. Your brother... In your city, aren't you? You're the gorilla man. You killed my brother out there. No. Yes. You'll die too. I'll kill you too. I got him tonight. Let him out of his cage. The zoo will run away with me. Now I'll kill you. Let me go. Now you die too. The gorilla man will kill you. Squeeze your life away. Look around. The shadow knows who you are. Who's that? The voice of the shadow. He knows you killed Blinky. You'll never get me. Nobody can get me now. Shadow finds all evil. Your poor soul with the rest. No voice or man can get me now. The voice of the shadow will follow until you get up. Up. Up the stairs. Up the stairs the shadow follows. Until you confess. I'm too fast for everyone. Like a nape, I swing up over that banner. Stairs the way you can't follow. Shadow can follow. Faster, faster. Now you've reached uh, the top of the stairway. There's nowhere to go. There's a place I can go. Up this ladder to the roof. Come down, you insane fool. Through this skylight and onto the roof. Come in off that roof. That voice is here. It's following me here. A voice like your conscience follows you everywhere. You think I'm trapped. Look at my strong, long arms, my heavy, short legs. I'm a gorilla now, and I can climb and jump as a beast. Down the rain pipe I'll climb. You'll forget my new paws. Come back. Down, down I go. Hand under hand. Come back quickly. Uh, the rain pipe is breaking. Come back. I'm No, Lamont, I feel sorry for that poor creature. Falling to his death like that? Hey, where was you, Mr. Cranston, when I was looking all over the house upstairs for you? It was for you I was looking. You were just looking in all the wrong rooms, Shrevey. And where was you, Shrevey, when you left Miss Lane and me to be attacked by big boy Smitty's ape? I had a little accident. Oh. It was a little accident I had. Oh, that was when we heard that crash of wood. That was a crash of me, Miss Lane. The crash of me it was. <laughs> the floorboards gave out and I landed flat and... Uh, the cellar floor, the cellar floor, that is. <laughs> well, thank goodness you revived in time to save me from that gorilla. Yes, that ape was big boy, and not Smitty turned gorilla man. Smitty had stolen to the zoo after dark tonight and let big boy escape of the house. Well, where was he when we got there? He'd gone foraging for food for them both for the night. Oh. He was going to free big boy so they could roam the countryside and be free together, huh? That was his plan. He'd only be free as no one would recognize him as Smitty. But Lamont, I saw him. When he grabbed me, he wasn't a gorilla at all. I know, Margot. Strange quirk of his mind. Poor Smitty really believed those taunts and those jeers. He 
really believed he'd turned into a gorilla up to the moment he died. The weight of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.